see this one, the return of Grand Akuma. And the debut of the Bad Apple, Matt McIntosh. And here we go. We are ready to begin. Once again, and as I was saying, MLJ, it's the debut of the Bad Apple, Matt McIntosh. And the return of Grand Akuma. Taking the words right out of my mouth. Of course, we saw Grand Akuma nearly a little over a year ago. About a year and a half at this point. Uh, my goodness, and he and Sam Shields set the world on fire that night. That began Sam Shields and his reign of terror, you could say, here in On Point Wrestling. But right now, Matt McIntosh wants to make a name for himself as well. But Grand Akuma, one step ahead, using some amateur-based skills here. Goes right for a nice, looks like a heel hook of some type. He's got a traditional toe and ankle. Uh, but Matt McIntosh oh. was able to get his ankle out of there and counter it into a side headlock. Takes him down. And we've talked on past shows how just that, that oh, he just kips up. Both back to a vertical base, both men. Uh, right, stalemate. We're back to square well, one. The We're proverbial, the proverbial stalemate, MLJ. As Akuma has made a name for himself throughout the independence, wherever he's gone, he's made an impact. Matt McIntosh, better known from the Angry Orchard, up in North Jersey, New York area. Now a nice arm bar applied here. Oh, Akuma rolls through, kips up to his feet, reverses the pressure. It's maneuver here. We're seeing a dragon twist of his own, but Matt McIntosh lifts that knee right into the exposed stomach of Grand Akuma. Akuma, reversal of the Irish whip into a Japanese arm drag. One fluid motion, nicely done as he piles up with the arm drag. And now uh, McIntosh trying to figure out where Akuma's coming from. Whoa! There you go. See, Akuma, it looked like he was going in for a shoulder tackle, but he was able to hook that arm and transition his way into an arm drag. Here comes Akuma. Oh. Akuma was looking to springboard in. Matt McIntosh kicking that rope, not allowing Akuma to get his footing, trip him right up there. I'll tell you what, Matt McIntosh, you can say what you want. He's a bad apple, he's got a chip on his shoulder, but one thing is for sure, he does look like a professional here, as he is taking control now. And he does have the five count, you know, we we say it each time. Got up to the four. Now, McIntosh seems to have the control. And it all started with that high-risk maneuver. Nice full body slam out of Matt McIntosh there. And really that cover, I don't think that cover was really going for the win. It was really judging where Grand Akuma was at this point in the match. Uh, Matt McIntosh uh, making note that his original opponent this evening was supposed to be the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson. Chris Dickinson, of course has made a name for himself here in On Point Wrestling, tearing through the competition. Last we saw him though, Joe Gacy did get the win and the upper hand in the title tournament. But now Joe Gacy has been eliminated from that tournament. But getting back to the action in the ring, Akuma kicking out at two. As McIntosh is on the offense here. Some ground to pound applied here. Raining down a series of right hands. Jesse Logan trying to get in there. And now Grand Akuma trying to get back to his feet. Slowly, he's had his bell run. Snap mares him down. Oh! And you know what, that's typically a page out of Grand Akuma's playbook. He is the one that likes to throw those devastating kicks. Matt McIntosh quite possibly getting into the head of Grand Akuma, playing a little bit of psychological warfare, saying whatever you can do, I can do a little bit better. And right now he has the front face lock applied, trying to keep Akuma from getting that precious oxygen into his lungs. Akuma knows what's up. Now he's fighting his way out desperately. Does get out. Nice reversal. 
Picking up a head of steam, but Akuma getting out of the way. And Zaguri now. And Grant Akuma climbing up to the top. Matt McIntosh doesn't know quite where he's at, but Grant Akuma nails him with a missile dropkick right between the shoulder blades. And again, this is all about getting the win. It's all about getting the air. If you can't breathe, you can't win a match, Emil. Absolutely right. Mr. Dixon. These two are going tooth and nail right now. Grant Akuma grabs him with a waist lock. Matt McIntosh oh. looking for a way out. Big back elbow, make it a couple. Picking up ahead of steam now. Nice floating Death Valley driver out of Grant Akuma. He hooks that far leg. Only, oh. Only a two count there. Tell you what, the one good thing about Akuma, he always does go right back to that vertical base. He doesn't stay on his back because on your back you can get pinned at any time. And now, looks like he's going for a suplex. And McIntosh putting the brakes on Akuma, putting the brakes on as well. Looks like both men have one idea in mind. Oh, look at the power of McIntosh, able to get him on his shoulders. But Akuma slips out, and there's one of those devastating kicks I was talking about earlier, Dean. Oh, and another one followed it up. Higher on the chest this time. Wild swing, Akuma ducking out of the way. Oh, what's this? Oh! Sort of like a rib breaker there with the arm capture. Only a two there, only. Not only does that do impact to the ribs of the man, it also sandwiches the arm between McIntosh's leg and Akuma's torso area. Well, it's just stretching so many points of impact there. And it looks like he's trying for another one here. High impact move, if he can hit it. Oh, goes for a crucifix. Yeah. Oh! Now into a sunset. And a modified sunset here by Akuma. Two by series of near falls here, Dean. In quick succession, there's another kick. Rolling soul butt, fouls it up with a kick right to the chin. Oh, big knee. Right. right to the chin. Oh! Belly to back. He just passed him by and caught him on the rebound with a German suplex. And here he goes. He likes that vertical drop brain buster, and that's exactly what he hit him with. Yeah. Only a two again, and now Akuma. Oh, what's he got here? Oh, oh. Could what be a mission move here. Could be a, mod oh. a modified Koji clutch, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen it before. That's that's it. It. 